a united nations of colour as people unite in grief. If a loved one is still missing, people naturally fear the worst, but official confirmation has to be slow and certain. 20-year-old law student Leopold Hecht has been confirmed dead by his university. He was on the metro train. So was civil servant Olivier Delespes. The first victim to be named was mother of two, Adelma Tapia Ruiz. Many are still missing, including British man David Dixon, whose family can only wait for news. One family I spoke with have a friend in intensive care, while they only missed the Metro bomb because they were late dropping off their son Giovanni at school. You must feel very lucky. Yeah, very lucky and uh, not guilty in a way, what do you say? Like, uh, you feel privileged. You can't help but look at the missing people and think maybe you've seen them, maybe you've shared the Metro cabin with them. And it's, it's, there's no words for it, I think. And it was, it was that one decision, that the little delay, the men you weren't on. Yeah. And I felt guilty because I was angry with, with him because I, I was late for work. 270 people were injured, and today the King and Queen of Belgium visited one hospital. They were shown twisted pieces of shrapnel, which surgeons have removed from the wounded. They are chilling remnants of the attack on Brussels. One of the head trauma surgeons told me they've been stretched to the limit. During the blast also, the explosion of the bomb uh, contains uh, some nails, mm -hmm. I guess. And, and so on, and therefore increase the number of uh, injuries that we observe in the abdomen, for example, or in the lung, for example. So it's like a war zone? Yes, it's, it's, a war, it's a war, it's a war injuries, patient. War zone injuries in a European capital. The doctors and nurses will work their miracles as they always do, but there are, of course, psychological injuries which run even deeper.